Today, we're going to talk about the Slipper Zero. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. We are back at it again with our Flipper Zero. Look at that right there. My face, there we go. Now it's in focus with our Flipper Zero. We also have good old Miles here. Look at that. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, Billy Rubs. So today, oh, right here, we got the Flipper Zero. Uh, there it is in focus right there. And so this little oddly shaped device is like the Swiss Army knife of the digital age. But let's be honest, getting it set up can be a little nerve wracking. So are you tired of seeing error 404, dolphin not found on your screen? Well, fear not my friends, because in this video, we're gonna cover the complete Flipper Zero setup process for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android. We're conquering them all, and we'll even sprinkle in some tasty little tidbits and insider info along the way. So grab your Flipper, your favorite beverage, and let's get this show on the road. All right, so before we start plugging things in and meshing buttons, let's get the lay of the land. Think of the Flipper Zero as a teeny adorable kingdom, and it needs its infrastructure. First, we have the Flipper Zero firmware. This is the operating system, the brains of the operation, the one that tells all the other toes what to do. So keeping it updated is crucial for new features, bug fixes, and just general awesomeness. And don't worry, I will never say that sentence ever again. Next up is the Flipper mobile app for iOS and Android, and this is your remote control, file manager, and general Flipper sidekick. It lets you interact with your Flipper from your phone, which is super convenient. Of course, you can't go anywhere without QFlipper, and this is the desktop application which run, runs, excuse me, which runs on Windows, Macs, and Linux. Max, <laughs> which runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. This is used for flashing firmware, managing files, and more advanced operations, and think of it as your mission control. And finally, the community. The Flipper Zero community is huge and full of helpful people. So don't be afraid to dive in and ask questions. All right, so that's the basics. Got it? Good. Now, let's get our hands dirty. Windows users, assemble! This is usually the trickiest one, so pay close attention. First, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Flipper Zero website and download QFlipper for Windows. Install it like you would any other program. Now, here's the important part. Drivers. Windows loves to be picky about drivers, so you might need to install the drivers manually. Don't panic, QFlipper usually prompts you to do this, but if not, there's a driver package on the Flipper Zero website. I'll have a link down in the description below. Once the drivers are installed, connect your Flipper Zero to your computer via USB. QFlipper should recognize it, and if it doesn't, try restarting your computer and the Flipper. Sometimes a little reboot magic is all you need. Now let's ensure that we have the latest firmware installed. We're gonna go ahead and click the update button if it says so here in the Q flipper and let's do this thing. Don't disconnect the flipper during the update process. This is important. You do not want to brick your dolphin. Once your firmware is updated, you are good to go on Windows. Let's move on over to the Mac. Mac users rejoice! This is usually a much smoother process. All we need to do is download the QFlipper for Mac from the Flipper Zero website and install it. Connect your Flipper Zero to your Mac via USB and QFlipper should recognize it automatically. Macs are generally better at handling drivers than Windows, so there shouldn't be any problems here. If prompted, be sure to update the firmware using QFlipper just like we did on Windows, Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and we're done. Mac users, you're basically already hacking the planet. Just kidding. Mostly. Mostly. I should maybe cut that out. That's a stupid thing. All right, you iOS nerds. Let's get your iPhones and iPads in on the action. 
head on over to the App Store and download the official Flipper mobile app. Now, here's the catch. iOS doesn't allow direct USB connections to the Flipper Zero like computers do. Everything is done via Bluetooth. So, open the Flipper mobile app and follow the on-screen instructions to pair your Flipper Zero with your iPhone or iPad. Make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled on both devices. The app will guide you through any necessary firmware updates or initial setup steps. Once paired, you can use the app to control your flipper, manage files, and explore its various functions. iOS setup is straightforward, but remember Bluetooth is your only connection method. Android enthusiast, it's now your turn. Download the Flipper mobile app from the Google Play Store. And don't dox yourself on the internet because I'm pretty sure my Google account says my name. Similar to the iOS, the primary connection method is Bluetooth. However, some Android devices support USB OTG, which is on the go, which allows you to connect the Flipper Zero directly via USB. This can be useful for faster file transfers or firmware updates. We're going to go ahead and open up the Flipper mobile app and follow the on-screen instructions to pair your Flipper Zero with your Android device via Bluetooth. Just because that's the universal step. Now we're demonstrating the Bluetooth pairing on Android, just in case it's different and someone just goes, I don't know how to do this. If your device supports USB OTG, please stop licking yourself. You can also connect the Flipper Zero via USB cable and select the USB connection option in the app. The app will guide you through any necessary firmware updates or initial setup steps. Doesn't that sound familiar? Android does offer a bit more flexibility with USB connectivity, but Bluetooth is still the standard method. So now that you're all set up, let's talk about some essential tips and tricks to get the most out of your Flipper Zero. First, keep your firmware updated. New features, bug fixes are constantly being released. Secondly, explore the community. There's a ton of custom firmware options, plugins, and resources available. I have a couple of my favorite ones down in the comment section down below, also in the video description Billy Bob Thornton. Thirdly, back up your data. <laughs> you don't want to lose all your saved RFID tags or sub gigahertz frequencies as QFlipper makes backing up very easy. Just do it. It's smart. Fourth thing is be responsible. Now the Flipper Zero is a powerful tool. Uh, it's important to use it ethically and legally and don't be an asshole. That's the number one rule always. So fifth, five, fifth, fifth thing, I, whatever, have fun. The Flipper Zero is all about exploring the world around you. Experiment, learn, and see what you can discover much like in college. Let's talk about some common problems that people run into. A uh, problem is that the Flipper Zero won't connect. The solution to that is to double check your USB connection, your drivers, and Bluetooth settings. Again, restart your computer and Flipper as sometimes a reboot magic is all that you need. The firmware update fails. Make sure that your Flipper is fully charged and try a different USB cable. Also, restart Q Flipper. Can't find the Flipper mobile app in the App Store or the Play Store? Well, make sure your device meets the minimum system requirements. Check region settings as well as the Flipper Zero is banned in some countries. The Flipper Zero is bricked. Don't panic, there are recovery methods available. Check the Flipper Zero website and commonly forums for instructions. All right, you are now a Flipper Zero master. So let's dive into some advanced resources for all of you that want to take their skills to the next level. Ba -da -da -da. Custom firmware, guys. That is the biggest number one. Exploring custom firmware options like Rogue Master, which I think might even be out now, um, or Unleashed, which is currently what I use. 
uh, for enhanced features and functionalities just improves the Flipper Zero in more ways than you could imagine. Flipper plugins, check out the Flipper app store. There's discover and install the plugins from the community guys, extend the capabilities of your Flipper Zero easily. API and development, dive into the Flipper Zero API and start developing your own applications and tools. Hardware modifications, for those that are adventurous, Explore hardware, explore hardware modifications to further customize your Flipper Zero like this custom see-through green shell. Lastly guys, always remember to proceed with caution when using advanced resources and always, always, always back up your data before making any changes. And there you have it guys, that is the complete Flipper Zero setup guide for nerds. <laughs> You're now equipped to conquer the digital world one dolphin at a time. If you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more techie goodness, and leave a comment below telling me what you plan on doing with your newly set up Flipper Zero device. Be sure to check out modernbroadcast.tv as we are doing some giveaways this month. We're in spooky season, so we're giving away some spooky games. Also, I think for the first time ever, starting November, we're going to give away some Flipper Zero tech, guys. Maybe a C1101 chip um, and maybe also a Wi-Fi dev board uh, custom case. So be sure to check that out. And guys, always stay curious, stay creative, and don't be afraid to push the boundaries of what's possible. Have a great week, everyone, and take care.